Now, over in the UK, the ruling Conservative Party's 14 years in power is predicted to come to an end in Thursday's general election. Our Choi Soo Hyung reports. The United Kingdom is preparing for Thursday's general election. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak of the Conservative Party and opposition Labour Party leader Keir Starmer are making their final push for votes. I understand people's frustrations with me, with our party, but I say this. It's a choice about the future of our country. A choice that is going to have severe consequences for each and every family if we get that choice wrong. Just think what a Labour government with a supermajority would do. We've now had 14 years of chaos, of division and failure. And the choice tomorrow is to bring that to an end, to turn the page and start to rebuild with Labour. The upcoming general election will determine the composition of the House of Commons and ultimately the next Prime Minister. The Labour Party is forecast to win by a landslide, ending the Conservative Party's 14-year rule. Recent polls show that Labour has about 40 per cent support and the Conservatives have 20 per cent. On Wednesday evening, YouGov, a public opinion and data company based in London, forecast that Labour could win 431 out of 650 seats in the House of Commons. If this happens, it will be the largest number of seats won by a single party since the first UK general election in 1832. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has appealed to his supporters with strong controls on refugees such as sending Islam seekers to Rwanda and an increase in defence spending. Labour leader Keir Starmer has focused on a century strategy, promising stable economic growth, wealth creation and unwavering national security. Many voters blame the 14 years of the Conservative-led governments for the cost of living crisis, issues in the healthcare system and the chaos due to Brexit. Chesuhyang. Arirang News.